Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. You know, they say there are liars, damn liars, and politicians. And in today's day and age, nothing could be more true than that. Now, some lies are just little exaggerations, and other lies are big, bold-faced lies. But we as human beings, for whatever reason, have a tendency to believe lies if they are told with enough emotional force. And that is the way the gun grabbing left works. In fact, the entire premise behind gun control is based on a bunch of lies wrapped up in massive emotion. And I think it's time now that war has been declared on the Second Amendment that we need to start declaring war and we need to start pushing back on some of these lies. So today, let's spend a few minutes here from the beautiful Columbia River in Washington State and talk about why we need to push back on all of gun control's lies. Okay, so the issue we're talking about today is the constant bad messaging that comes from those on the gun grabbing left where none of their messages are based in truth and yet we for whatever reason in the 2a community don't push back on it enough now we have politicians all around this country we had two recently who got immediately kicked out of the tennessee house only to show up about 48 hours later whatever that was we certainly have politicians here in this state that say all of their new legislation is about saving lives and we have other politicians on the national level Level, who have made a big name for themselves some quite recently by basically attacking the lawful and responsible gun owner all around the nation. Let us remember Democratic Congressman Jimmy Gonzalez from California who recently said that if Republicans were not willing to pass more gun control legislation, well then they should just resign. Let us remember New York Congressman Jamal Bowman who recently yelled to the media that quote, Republicans won't do about gun violence. Now implied in both of those emotional outbursts is the fact that gun control works. Now perhaps if there was any kind of, you know, data, facts, objective evidence to back that up, then perhaps those emotional outbursts will be necessary. But you see, that's not what the data supports. That's not what the facts support. And when politicians make bold and brash claims and wrap it up in emotion. It's never about policy as much as it's about garnering attention and getting votes. Now, according to the Georgetown McDonough School of Business Research, firearms are used to defend Americans and prevent unlawful crimes being committed against them approximately 2.8 million times per year. That comes out to about 7,600 times per day. And those are only the incidents that actually end up in the data. All the times that a firearm is displayed or the mere threat of a firearm is used to prevent violence from occurring to begin with, those times don't often end up in the stats. What else do we know? Well, we know that after school shootings became the new craze, many school districts actually went out and trained armed security. There are some school districts, there are some private schools in this country that actually have private security. Have we heard of a single mass shooting at any one of those schools? Have we heard of sh schools that were selected by mass shooters based upon the presence and or absence of armed security? You see, perspective is everything when you wanna understand the truth about America's gun violence problem. First of all, of all violent crimes committed in the United States, only one out of every six involved the use of the firearm. The second thing, and this is important because this is the Department of Justice's own statistics, and this is not my data, this is their data, and we did this video about it right here, that 88.8% .8 of all gun crimes that are committed in the United States are committed by a person who is unlawfully possessing the firearm at the time the crime is committed. So therefore, do we write 88.8% .8 of our gun laws to affect that segment of population? No, we write 100% of our gun laws to affect you, the lawful and responsible gun owner, nationwide. And despite the fact that the data shows that these gun control measures are not working, take my state, for example, where we have passed radical gun control measure after measure after measure, and yet the homicide rate in this state continues to climb every single year. Consider how many times mass shooters intentionally select soft targets or what we call gun-free zones. Listen, if you don't believe me that gun control is not working, we're going to put not one, not two, but three links, the studies down there that absolutely objectively show this. What gun control is about 
is it's never been about the guns. It's about the control. Every single gun control law ever passed in the last 20 years in the United States does one thing and one thing only, and that's affect you, the lawful and responsible gun owner. Criminals shockingly don't follow gun laws, and that is not my opinion. The Department of Justice own data establishes that. But we have to take back the narrative. We have to quit allowing the grotesque labeling of high capacity magazines and assault rifles and now assault pistols and all the various horrific terminology that the gun grabbing left has come up with and we have continued allowed to be used. We have to push back on the fact that gun control saves lives and we have to establish the fact that an armed society is a polite society, that an armed society is in fact a safe society. Listen, the bottom line is, is most politicians are not going to be honest about this and we know the mainstream media is never going to be honest about this subject. It is all of our duties. This is all of our moral obligations as those in the 2A community to spread the truth and call out the lies. Listen, we say here at Washington Gun Law all the time that we never want to tell you how to think, but we do want to give you all the stuff to think about. What I ask of all of you, all of us in the Second Amendment community, is to go out there and give those people on the fence or give those people who have been misinformed all the stuff that they too should think about. Listen, you may have more questions about this or anything else related to your Second Amendment rights. If you do, you should know how to contact Washington Gun Law by now, but if you don't, that's okay. All of that information is right there in the description box. In the meantime, I do want all of you to remember that part of being a lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here, is to know what the law is in every situation, how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.